Hello, this is Eric Apt coming to you from Second Harvest Future Home. Right now, I'm standing under the awning where our food distribution will take place. That means that many of our 515 partner agencies across this region will be coming around a circle that's right in front of me, coming to this awning, being loaded with food. So we're excited about the efficiency that that's going to create in that work. But right behind me is where more of that efficiency is really coming to life, as well as the enhancements that will help us to feed more people more effectively throughout the 18 counties that we serve. The racking that is right behind me in the warehouse is five high. Right now we have three high racking. So why does that matter? Simply we can fit more food. And if we went in a little bit off to my right, it's gonna be a lot of new cold storage. Right now we have a little bit more than 5,000 square feet in our existing facility, but we will go to more than 10,000. And what does that mean? Well, think about it in your own home. The most healthy items are those things that are in your refrigerator and freezer. So if we can get more of those types of things in these larger coolers, that means we can get healthier items out to our neighbors who are facing food insecurity in the region. And in this inflationary environment, those things are more expensive these days. So the more that we can do along those lines, the better we will be from a nutrition standpoint, as well as a food insecurity standpoint. The difference is very significant. Well, along with serving the partner agencies that will be here every single day picking up food, where we will move 38 to 40 tons of food out of this facility every single day, there are many other ways that you may not know of that Second Harvest is getting food where it is needed most. For example, our community food distributions. Every week, we're doing one here in Winston-Salem, serving about 300 to 325 households with fresh produce and other items. This enables us to reach people in a more creative way and again gives people flexibility in what, meeting their schedule to be able to get the food that they need to put on their table. In addition, almost every other weekend on Saturdays, we're here in Winston-Salem, Greensboro, Alamance, Wilkes County, even more places in the future doing larger scale distributions again to get food where it is needed most. That work supplements the work of those awesome 515 programs that we support. Therefore, we again create different avenues for making sure we meet needs, but there's even more. We're excited about our school partnerships and from this warehouse we provide a lot of the box goods, a lot of the canned goods that go on food pantry shelves in schools or right next door so that the families can easily access them. In addition, backpack product that we put together or purchase goes out these doors to be loaded onto the representatives that help those schools with those programs. So every week we're feeding kids not only through our partner agencies, but also these unique school initiatives as well. On top of that, we're working on medical partnerships. Every single day, we've got physicians in the area diagnosing people with food insecurity. And we're working with area medical centers to provide food that they can literally give them that day as they leave to make sure they can put on food on the table that night for their families. We're working to reach even more people who are dealing with chronic disease such as type 2 diabetes and food-related heart disease so that we can again get them healthy food and ensure that they are no longer food insecure. And finally, disaster relief. Well, our region is sometimes protected from things like hurricanes, but tornadoes flooding is a reality for folks throughout our region. And we are here when those situations happen. We work with our partners, the Salvation Army, Red Cross and others who are on the front lines providing meals or food boxes to make sure that individuals affected by disaster have food to be able to help them through the difficult times that they face. These are just a few of the creative ways that we're working through this warehouse right behind me to get food where it's needed most. Now we've popped over to our production kitchen. Now in the old facility, we were using part of the warehouse and a small room to help us actually create over 16,000 meals every single week. 
to get it out to kids and seniors throughout our area. This new space will help us grow that work. We have the capacity to do 50, 60,000 meals a day in this new facility as we find creative ways to get meals to seniors, kids, and even individuals with disabilities. We'll be able to host volunteers more readily and our staff will have more space to work efficiently and effectively. This space is critical for helping us reach kids through our after school and summer meal programs. Right behind me, they're preparing trade meals of delicious food that are created by our chefs along with our nutrition team to make sure they're both good tasting as well as nutritious. These are critical ways to meet childhood hunger in our region. In addition, we're really excited the way that we're expanding our work to meet the needs of more seniors. These are individuals who have given so much to our communities over their lives. They should not have to make decisions between medication and food or paying a utility bill and food. They should always be supported with all of those things. And we are here to make sure that we are part of that solution. Not only those things, but earlier I was able to share with you our work with regards to school partnerships, disaster relief, as well as medical partnerships. All of these things are also supplemented by our community meals work. Together between our food distribution that all of you are most familiar with and this community meals work, we are making a tremendous impact and this new facility will make an even greater difference. It's enabling us to be more efficient in our space. We're consolidating multiple locations into one. And what that means for us is not only more efficiency in how we operate, but also cost savings. In our assessment, we'll be saving between two and $300,000 a year in our operations by being in this new facility. That's a huge difference in funds that can be translated into reaching more people facing food insecurity in Northwest North Carolina. You have helped make this a reality. In just a few short months, we'll move into this space and begin a more creative approach and more impactful approach to our work. Thank you for making it happen and I can't wait to share with you the next step in our work.